Hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing a guide on KBD. Um, this is going to be particularly for Iron Man. However, I, it, it, the thing is with um, soloing KBD, it's going to be the same for a man count. However, you're going to want to have an extended anti-fire potion because you can afford it. Obviously, you want range pots. I'm not bringing range pots because I'm out of range pots. Range pots, and I can't be asked to go get them. Iron Man, by the way, that's a problem. But if you're on Iron Man, obviously you want to bring range pots as well. Um, another thing, as a main account, you won't need to necessarily bring 50k to privatize KBD because you can do KBD with friends or with anyone else in the lair and you will still get loot if you do the most damage. Um, as a main account it's best to do KBD with a group of friends and split the loot. You'll be there longer. Um, that's just basically um, what I recommend as a main account. You can have the same setup here as a main except bring an extended anti-fire and obviously a range potion. Um, another thing I really recommend when doing KBD is being on Slayer Task for Black Dragons because your Slayer will boost your damage by 15% on range imbued, obviously. Next thing I want to talk about is when you're going into this instance, when you privatize it as an Iron Man, because obviously you want to get the drops, um, you need to be careful that you're not bringing anything that you are okay not losing and it's kind of sad because it's an instance so if you die in the instance you're going to lose everything anyway but for precaution before getting into the instance let's say a PK is on you you don't want to bring anything that you are not okay with risking for example those three items I want to keep and I made sure of it everything else fair game if you die in the instance, you will lose everything as an Iron Man. So make sure your internet's running good, etc. Next thing to do is DCs do happen in game. Also, your internet could go out. Bring a ring of life. It won't always save you, but sometimes it does save you. So that's a big deal. Uh, don't bring anything that you don't want to risk. Um, enough said. I'm kind of risking that Slayer Helm. If I DC and the Ring of Life doesn't save me, I will lose everything. And so, be really considerate about that. Um, okay. I don't expect to DC, but it does happen, and so please really think about that. If you don't want to risk it, don't risk it. Um, another thing is, if they're a hardcore Iron Man, I would not do KBD, because it's in the wilderness. Just stay away from that. And uh, for a main account, same setup, extended anti-fire. And of course, if you're an Iron Man or a main, you want to have um, your range pot. I'm going to be just using rigor, and I've got my anguish, and that's what I'm going to go with, and some diamond dragon bolts E to kind of compensate for me running out of potions. Uh, not that much, that, not that it will, but we'll see. And um, Lastly, I really want to emphasize that if you're an Iron Man and you aren't at the stage where you can make Ceridome and Brews, you can go ahead and bring, uh, you know, sharks instead. You can replace that with sharks. So, this is your inventory setup. You need a super anti-poison. KBD will poison you. KBD will drain your stats and restore. If you're a main account, you don't need that 50k. However, if you want to go into instance, like I am, where if you die, you lose all your items, but nobody else can attack the dragon. You need to pay your 50k. So what I highly recommend here is, um, oh my gosh, no wonder I kept losing prayer. I was like, why is my, I just recharged my prayers, like slowly going down. I had preserve on. Oh my gosh. So you're going to use this burning amulet to teleport out to the lava maze, which is the closest area next to KVD. Please be extremely careful. What I like to do is as soon as I teleport, I go to my logout option. It's just not worth messing with PKers, but it's not common for PKers to be there, but you never know where you're going to run into the wilderness. So let's just go ahead and do this thing. I hate the wild. I really do. Like, I am a chicken when it comes to PKing or anything like that. My heart beats. I am just a chicken. Um... <laughs> My friend was a major PK, his name was Goblin. He used to say, welcome to my wildie. 
He was never scared of anything. Anyway, if you're going to privatize as an Iron Man, go ahead and right-click it and press privatize. These spiders are going to mess with you. Pay the 15,000, 50,000 coins. It's going to bring in you in here. KBD will take a second to pop up, but go ahead and drink your anti-fire. <clears throat> if you're in the normal section, there will be other players. KBD will be there automatically. So I'm going to be using Rigor. Um, you can go ahead and flick Rigor if you don't want to use a lot of prayer, but I'm not good at flicking and I'm too lazy for that, so we're just going to go with what I got. <clears throat> so, as you can see, you need a dragon uh, shield. Dragon fire shield's also good, but I don't think people want to risk that. Um, you need an anti-fire. Extended is better because it lasts longer. And this, an yeah, I am poisoned. I don't know if you noticed that, so you can drink your anti-poison. Um, you want to be using your prayers. So if you don't have Rigor, go ahead and use Eagle Eye. Most Iron Man have not gotten to raids yet, so you will be using Eagle Eye. Uh, he's very simple to kill, however, he he's not a joke. You need to pay attention because you if you die in this instant, instance, you will lose everything. So it, it is not a joke, guys. It's not, it's not worth watching Netflix and not paying attention because as an Iron Man everything is important even as a main account your gear is important okay and uh, make sure your internet's running good but as an Iron Man this is the best method it's expensive 50k I get it if you've got the crafting level you can take the hides and make them into gear and alk them and hopefully you'll get that money back so that's my best recommendation. KBD is great for an Iron Man because you can get the Dragon Pickaxe. You can get the Visage. It's a 1 in 5k chance. Um, what else can you get? You can get the, the KBD heads for, for a Black Slayer Helm. Things like that is, is really nice. Um, so, we'll see. No, uh, just a regular drop. But uh, that, that's what I just wanted to kind of point out there. Why am I picking up that Sabi? And, of course, the spawn time now sucks on KBD. They're really rough about that. They sped up the spawn time, and I'm not too big of a fan of that, to be honest with you. And if you want to go up and get your loot, you can just pray melee and walk up close and personal to him, and you'll be fine. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I really should mention on KBD. As an Iron Man, because you're soloing him, you want the best of the best gear without risking and it's kinda hard you want the anguish for that boost you want the best bolts you want this and that you want your slayer helm for the boost but if you're not willing to risk it don't worry about it but you want to get as many kills per trip you know as possible my KBD kill count I don't know if it'll show up my host buddy's always slow but I think it yeah 111 kill count um, so I have been doing every king, every Black Dragon task I have recently been doing at KBD ever since I've been able to make extended anti-fires. You want to make the bring the best bolts you can. You know, if you're going to use Onyx bolts and shit, use it at KBD. You know, I mean, that's that's my uh, recommendation. If you know, we we get all kinds of dragon bolts and stuff like that all the time, so why not? Um, use it at the big bosses like this so you can get as many kills as possible and uh, KBD is pretty simple uh, obviously if you're a main account more people better you can split your you can make probably about 500k to, to a mil an hour depending on you your um, how efficient you are at KBD with your friends or how many people are there it's always a chance of getting the pet I want the pet that'd be sick um, another thing is I started soloing KBD around 91 range. Um, as you can see, he does drain your stats too. I don't know if anyone noticed that. That was a big deal. That's why super restores are great. Um, so I was 91 range. The better the range, I would say 90 plus soloing because it's not really worth your time otherwise. He just, he's got really high defense. I was even considering bringing my Dragon Warhammer to bring down KBD's defense, but it's just not worth risking to the wild. Um, pretty much uh, just the range. You don't really need much of a defense for this boss uh, defense level. And uh, I hope this really helped you. It showed you the inventory setup. I showed you the best method to get there. And uh, always bring that house teleport. That would be a really bad situation where you have to run all the way back and things like that. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and uh, that y'all start selling KBDs on your iron or KBD on your irons or on your main account. You now know how to efficiently do it and go with your friends and boss at KBD. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I guess we'll finish this last drop. I don't think it's going to be anything, but might as well. Yep, and so y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.